wanted to say something about healing because uh, to me this is an important anniversary. On Healing Sunday, a year ago in September, Ingrid shared a story. And the details are important, but the substance was something happened in the past that caused her great pain in her spirit and in her heart. And something happened in the present that made her realize it was healed and that pain was gone. And we normally talk about our bodies and face it, all this disservice are getting up there and we're falling apart. So <laughs> our bodies fail you know, happens every day. But even we brought up a different topic, healing the spirit and the heart. And it must have planted a seed because a few months later I began to think about things and realized how much healing had happened in me just by Mary Beth being in my life. And healed things that I didn't even know were voids were filled and things were healed that I didn't even know were broken. So I began to think outward about Healing I've seen acts of kindness that brought comfort and healing to people that I couldn't explain. Acts of forgiveness, I don't know why people did I began to think about my own life, and I've been sort of been very lucky. Had a great opportunity. I didn't get, didn't get sent to reform school for that stunt I pulled. And all the things that healed me kept pointing me in the right direction. And I still can't explain it, but my thinking did get to a point where Father Joe's sermon on Father's Day said, Jesus manifests himself in our lives through our interactions with other people. And I thought about that, I can't explain it. But to me it's good news, and good news for all of us, that, that as we age and fall apart, as you remember we discussed earlier, <laughs> there is healing that comes to us from the kindness and forgiveness of others. And even more powerfully, and this is what I really can't explain, when we give kindness, and forgiveness, the healing comes to us. And as Father Joe said in his sermon, he started his sermon a couple weeks before Father said, back, while quoting a, uh, it was a reformed Jewish Sabbath prayer that had the phrase, we walk sightless among miracles. And I thought that was very powerful. So I think there's a lot of good news and a lot of healing that goes on all the time. And I, Thank like Ingrid for kicking a pebble loose on the top of a mountain. I thank you for letting me share this, and thank you for having welcomed us into this church, which I think is a place where you get a dose of healing every time you walk through the door.